for some reason my Google Chrome is not up on this computer so I've got to get it up here but we'll do that in a minute we are live evidently let me see if I can find this show on the iPad there it is and the audio is good so while folks are coming in I'm gonna to try to get my Google Chrome browser going I don't know what happened why it crashed can't do the show without access to my email so bear with me here a second Let's see if we can get this going and I gotta restore the tabs okay good it is loading in alright <clears throat> so we got an emergency broadcast today emergency broadcast we got issues and got some folks in the chat Stig's in the house Kyle's in the chat Lance is all over the place our wags is in the house must have taken a vacation day day last night there you go absolutely couldn't get a host to fill in for me unfortunately the guest hosts are few and far between these days <clears throat> had a video shoot yesterday afternoon and just by the time I got back there just wasn't enough time to get things together Kyle's in the house Lou's in the house James is in the house <clears throat> Carlos is in the house a whole bunch of people are in the house all right so here's the deal <clears throat> And by the way, Kyle, this, this shirt came from Beverly Hills. This shirt that I'm wearing. And this stunner, stunner right there, came from Little Treasury Jewelers. The stunner on wrist. Stunner on wrist. P apologize for the moray, the fine lines in this shirt. The um, camera can't handle it. Just can't handle it but I like the shirt so I'm wearing it anyway. <clears throat> so, uh, get my Gmail loading in. <clears throat> There's a Rolex, uh, no, not Rolex. There's a Grand Seiko <clears throat> on, um, why is this not opening up? Why is my Gmail not opening up? This is, we're, we're having serious technical difficulties here today. Oh, there, it finally opened up. There is a um, very unusual, very unusual watch that came up on eBay, and that's going to be the initial topic of the show. <clears throat> and let me find it here. It would be nice if I uh, did a little show prep, right, and didn't have to do this live on the show especially with a finicky oh jeez Google Chrome just crashed again what is going on with Google Chrome I must have a bad tab going I must have something bad going on here in the browser Google Chrome is a little bit of a bag of hurt a little bit of a bag of hurt sometimes. Let's do a time check while we fool with this. There's the 231. <clears throat> 231 stunner. <clears throat> All right. I'm going to pull this thing up. It's the last thing I do. And then we'll be able to discuss it. Here it is. I had a saved search on this watch. Now, that is not a, not a cheap price, okay? This is a limited production unit. <clears throat> it is a um, powered by 9F movement. But what you see, see what I'm talking about? See what I'm dealing with here? Oh, snap. Yeah, right. Uh, I'm, <laughs> I'm dealing with issues here. So this is the watch in question. All right. It's part of the Elegance Collection. I do not think it's a USA available item. And, but I did, look at that. Look at that thing crashing. Oh, well, folks. It is what it is. I put the link in the description. <laughs> I put the link in the description of the um, of the uh, 
I'm going to I'm going to close a bunch of tabs here and find out if I've got a tab that is uh, causing the issue. I'm going to close all these other tabs, all of them except for Brianna's. I'm not going to close hers because <clears throat> I know it doesn't give trouble. <clears throat> all right, so here is the watch. One more. We're going to try this one more time. I'm not going to cut to it until. All right. So there's the watch in question. And let's see if we can toggle to another photo. There we go. There's the bracelet. Good look at the bracelet. And what's kind of unique about this watch is the bracelet. It's the same basic case as my 002, but of course it's stainless steel. And it has the uh, pretty elegant bracelet there. And we crashed. All right. <clears throat> I am going to... Uh, I'm going to restart this computer what I'm going to do because the computer is integral to to this whole show <clears throat> we'll see what happens with a restart alright in the meantime I'm going to try to get caught up on the chat Brianna's in the house and Brianna uh, we can't have you Skype in until I get this laptop sorted out if you're hanging out uh, let's see uh, <coughs> mm. Oh boy, I'm falling apart. Okay. Uh <clears throat> Yeah, Stig was asking where Carlos was. The Indy 500 was not the same. No 350,000 fans in the stands takes away about 90% of the spectacle and drama, I guess. Uh and Carlos is in Madrid. Uh, let's see. Lance says, does that GS have a screw down crown? Probably not, Lance. I don't think any of the Elegance Collection watches do. You might guess it does not. Uh, so it wouldn't be really one for the swimmers. But it'd be very elegant. If somebody wants a dress watch with on a bracelet and doesn't want to spend gold watch money, that might be a solution, I think. Let's go in here and see if we can have a little bit better success with this laptop. I'm going to um, I'm going to have to restart Skype also once this thing boots up. I'm probably going to upgrade my other laptop and then switch out my 2017 with this laptop and just kind of upgrade things here a little bit. But uh, and by the way, I did order a new streaming box. <clears throat> did order that so the one that Steve has all right this laptop is booting up let's see here trashy Larry's in the house okay you should try Linux <laughs> yeah right Apple stock hit uh, 515 a share yesterday unbelievable Hey, Craig, I just sent an email. I've been on vacation for a week. Has been, has there been any news in the watch community? It's a good question. Uh, not much, I don't think. Carlos is in the house. Curious if you have, Arwag's curious if you have a GS. I don't think he does. <clears throat> don't think he does, but he's got some nice, nice pieces. All right, I'm going to restore these tabs. And I am going to see if we have the same crash routine. Let's do a test here. We'll do a live test on the show. Live television. See if we can go to another photo. There we go. And there we go to another photo. There we go to another photo. Seems to be working now. A couple very fine scratches there, but at least they're honest, showing some close-ups. Looks like a very, very nice watch, but not a not a cheap price considering it's a 9F but it is a limited edition they are relatively rare so that's probably the situation but I think it's an interesting piece for somebody who wants steel wants a dress watch I'm uh, launching Skype here just to make sure that I'm ready I'm ready for a call in <clears throat> 
And I'm getting text messages in the middle of the show from people that um, that realize that I'm live, and they're sending it anyway. Okay. This has been a total, total fail so far. There's a time check just for those that are keeping track. And Skype is trying to load. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, it is loading. So I am ready for a Skype call. So if the lovely Brianna wants to save the day and Skype in, that would be good, I think. Get this train back on the track. By the way, speaking of trains uh, that are off the track, you guys heard of the, um, I think it's, I think the channel's called Bus Grease Monkey. Have you guys heard of that channel? Very, very interesting. I'm going to see if I can find it here. Give me a second. I'm going to go to my history here. <clears throat> because this guy, this is pretty cool. This guy goes around. He's got a vintage bus. And he goes around and he works on buses. Mainly two-stroke, older older units. And here's one I was looking at. A video I was checking was out. <clears throat> okay. And we're going to have to skip that ad when that we're ad comes along. Out of every Give me a second one of you. here. Okay. So this is one I was looking at. Orange, they so that's the channel. Bus Grease Monkey. <clears throat> and here he's, uh, quote, rescuing an MCA uh, bus. And it is a... Uh, Custom, custom bus. Uh, uh, let me see if I can find the part. Yeah, here's the part where we were sitting down with the guy. All right, I'm going to play this little part. Let me get my headphones here. Just stand by. Don't anybody panic. Let me see if I can find the right part. C5 with a beautiful interior with a little love needed underneath the skirt, <laughs> so to say. So we're, uh, we've been working on that. All right. Well, Man, thank you. Hopefully tomorrow we'll have it running. I don't want to go back to where he talks about something. Before here. the wheels even started to turn. And the guy came out and said, I wouldn't drive that. I drove it for months here. The battery caught on fire. And uh, um, he worked on it for four or five months. And I were going through that. We found where they had put fittings together, dry fittings. Had it professionally appraised, and it appraised for twenty-two-five. <laughs> and you could uh, maybe Scott will put some pictures up. Uh, it's a spectacular coach. It'll actually be in an upcoming movie, uh, Patsy. And okay, so the part, the part that you didn't hear, it, it appraised for twenty-two-five, and he's got over sixty thousand in it. Okay, so he told the whole story in here, and this is this is something that that is. A lot of people fall into this trap. When I was appraising antique and classic cars, I ran into this a lot, where people buy a fixer-upper, right? <clears throat> and they think that they're going to come out ahead because they're getting this thing cheap, right? So he bought the bus. I think he paid about um, 12500 for it, and then he spent another 7500 for somebody local to do some work on it, and that was turned out to be a disaster. And then he took it to somebody else and blah, 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 blah. And then finally, the bus grease monkey guy straightened everything out. But at the end of the day, he's got $60,000 in the bus. And it's worth 22500 And so he would have been better off. And this is a perfect example. When this guy finally gets to the point where he doesn't want the bus anymore, maybe he passes away, maybe his wife sells it or whatever, you know, they'll get... 22.5 for it. They'll get the actual value for it, right? And somebody will benefit from all this money and time and effort that this guy put into this thing, right? So it's you're much better off in most cases on a vintage vehicle buying the one that somebody's already done all the work and it's right and everything was done right. And of course you got to confirm all that, right? Because these things can be money pits and money and time pits money sucking holes <laughs> is what they can be so money and time sucking holes 
So, but an interesting channel, this guy, and the work this guy does is very interesting. Uh, so, check it out. Bus Grease Monkey. Bus Grease Monkey, that's the channel. <clears throat> so, when we stumble across a cool channel, we like to share it. Uh, what else do we have here? Are you into hi fi? Not really. Not really. Not really. Did, never got into that rabbit hole. <laughs> and the fake Clive is in here. Has anyone seen Superman 3? Oh, here, Deport TGC, TGV says um, if they made the bracelet in gold for your watch, that would be killer. If Grand Seiko really appreciated this channel, they would do that. They'd make one for me and send it to me, wouldn't they? Don't you think they would? Don't you think they would? <clears throat> okay, let's catch up. I'm behind on the comments here. I can see that. <clears throat> Only news in the watch community is Patek Philippe Calatravas aren't easy to sell. No, of course they're not. Uh, uh, no watch is easy to sell. Uh, Deport Craig is talking about buying a camping truck as big as a house. It probably comes with a crew. Uh, Craig sent an email of stunning six-digit gold Yachtmaster. We'll take a look. Arwag's blue waiting for Craig to have a fire sale on the 002. Yeah, that's probably not going to happen. I love my 002. The 002 is stunning. Okay. Um, let's see. And uh, We talked about the bracelet. <laughs> Good idea. Okay. Has anyone seen... Okay, I answered that one. Let's see. Uh, getting caught up here. <clears throat> Lamont's in the house with a rather with a wrench. <clears throat> I'm into headphone hi-fi. It's another addiction. There you go. Craig, don't forget my email. Okay, we'll take a look. Yeah, you will take a look at that that cool one. It is confirmed that the bracelet doesn't exist in gold. I don't think with Grand Seiko anything's confirmed. I think Grand Seiko can be it can be difficult to pin them down. I wouldn't be the least bit surprised if a gold bracelet's floating around somewhere. And wouldn't it be nice if they sent me one as a gift? Okay, here you go. That is a stunning piece. I've seen that floating around. I, I'm guessing that it is Japan market only piece. So it's very similar to the 005, but with a white dial that's sort of snowflake-like, but not quite the same as a snowflake. It is a pretty stunning piece, I have to say. I don't know which I would prefer. I don't know if I would rather go with the blue, like the, the one I had, the 005, or with this one. I think that would almost be a coin toss. I think they're both pretty amazing but I'm guessing that that one is uh, Japan market uh, alright let's check the other emails here <clears throat> let's check the other emails okay and here's the 005 in Texas at that famous at the Alamo it looks like and there it is by truck fire how cool is that? A truck fire in the background. How did he how did he conjure that up? Pretty pretty wild stuff. All right. So, let's go back here and see what other emails I'm We got the this yacht master, this stunning yacht master coming up. I don't like that dial color on that watch. I don't like the dial. I'd much prefer the blue dial on that. It just doesn't look right to me. What do you guys think? Doesn't that dial just not look right? I, I guess I'd have to see it in person, but yeah, that would be a a thumbs down on that one. I can Skype in soon. Excellent, Bree. Save the day. 
save the day. <clears throat> Let's see here. Uh, deport you live a dangerous life. Uh, did you set the truck on? So so yeah. I mean, did he did he stage that? Did he did he create that scenario for for the photo op? And my glasses are crusty. Let me let me um, clean these glasses for crying out loud. <clears throat> this whole thing's a mess around here. <clears throat> Speaking of a mess, so so my sister goes and buys goes and buys a uh, a new RV. <clears throat> oh boy. That's going to be nothing but an issue. Let me see if I can pull up a picture of it here. Um, is anybody is anybody used to the new Facebook? I think it's a cluster. You know what? Uh, where's the search? Oh, here it is. Okay, so okay, I'll pull up. I'll show you the picture of the uh, RV that they bought, and I'm like. I'm like, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Are you absolutely kidding me? <clears throat> so, there it is. Look how tiny those wheels and tires are. You probably put one suitcase inside and you're overloaded, right? So, anyway, they went and bought that thing, brand new. Oh, boy. <clears throat> what can I say? What can I say? Uh... Obviously, they don't watch this show. Obviously, they don't watch this show. Is it possible to get your hand on... Yes, it is. Japan Market Watches. I've bought one. They are on eBay a lot. That one I just showed you is on eBay. You can buy that one and it'll be be here probably in a week. They come pretty quick these days from Japan. Uh, let's see... <clears throat> Carlos says, I hope Lamont has not been involved in that truck fire. <laughs> now, come on now. Why would Lamont possibly be involved in that truck truck fire? Come on, Carlos. He's a member of the wrench gang, for gosh sakes. He's in the upper echelon. Uh, let's see. Definitely there shall be no wait waiting list for a Rolex with that dial. And there you go. Lamont, Lamont is... is reactive all right so let me see what else let me go back let me, let me make this uh oh no that didn't work that didn't work that didn't work at all i am not used to this new um this new facebook this new Facebook is for the birds, I think. But it does have a good search feature. All right. We got that cleared away. Oh, boy. <laughs> Michael's in the house. I'm interested in a different J JDM watch. Um, do you know if Little Treasury can get their hands on a new GS Japanese watches? I'm not sure. I would talk to him. Depending on the model, he might be able to wrangle it. <clears throat> he might be able to, but I, I would say that's a might, not a for sure thing. You missed my comment, Craig. We'll put it in there again, G. Um, about the truck fire, is that what you're talking about? Or was it one of Archie's Monday night live shows? Is that the comment? <clears throat> uh, okay, the lovely Brianna's calling in to save the show. <clears throat> oh geez, it just the call dropped. I'm gonna have to call her back. For crying out loud, we are really having technical issues. <clears throat> okay, Bree. Hello. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good, good. So, are you gonna save the show? <laughs> I guess so. The show's been kind of a train wreck so far. So h how you feeling? I'm doing good. I'm you, still practicing my hoop and exercising a lot, too. I saw some videos you put up recently. 
showing legs yeah for glutes and legs workout so folks if you want to get in shape follow her on instagram that's what you got to do because she's, she's got well. some really good tips twitter as well so what else is going on bring us up to date it's been a while um nothing much i mean i am already um set to go and to to the boot camp i'm all you're ready get, you're getting you're getting prepared i'm getting prepared <laughs> <laughs> all right yeah i have to say your hair looks stunning did you do something special to it thank you um I just use like a treatment, I guess. Like I can show products. I can show products, right? Sure. Why not? Absolutely. Maybe they'll step up and sponsor you. <laughs> so you says like oil first, mm -hmm. and then this one to like curl curl it because my mm -hmm. hair is like wavy. Okay. So that's what I use. Well, it works. Whatever you're and doing, it's working. Tight. Okay, it's working. Oh, by the way, folks, if you have questions for Brianna, put them in the chat because I always get questions after you've left. And I'm like, okay, yeah. she's already gone, right? <laughs> so put the questions in now. All right, let me see what else. Uh, I've got to catch up on, these, on, these, uh, on the chat. And then are you going to do a little, little demo for us? Sure. I haven't figured out what music to use okay. for the but maybe it has to be copyright free. Yeah, like a YouTube song, I guess. So you're gonna hoop? Yeah. Okay. I mean, I can't do it much because I'm in my room, but like I just, can just a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. you you can just give them a little bit, and then they can go to your channel to get the rest. That's, yes. That's the that's what you want to do. You want to just give them a little <laughs> sampling. So then they know they have to go to your channel. Right. Uh, Kevin D says, what's your thoughts on high beat movement? Uh, the other guy from Little Treasure Jewelry seems very high on them. <clears throat> and Kyle says, Jipu, it looks like the new sub is coming, right? Okay. Um, all right. So the high beat movement, I much prefer the spring drive. Uh, it's more accurate. And I like that very smooth second hand that you get with the spring drive. That very smooth, sure. like electric looking second hand. Uh, so I see no reason to go with the uh, high beat. But some people like a fully mechanical movement, so they go with the high beat. So if that's you, if you like fully mechanical, I like the technology of the spring drive. So yeah, I'm all about that. Blues in the house. Bree, what's the first thing you notice about a man as a prospective partner? Shoes, Shoes. Clothes, clothes, question mark, question mark. Question mark. Question mark. Oh, um, definitely like the shoes. And if he's wearing a tie or, or not a tie, but like um, something classy, you know? Depending on the setting. Dressed appropriately, right? But nicely dressed. So you don't go yeah. for the grunge look. Classy. Right, no, no. <laughs> okay. There you go. And Blue says we need tips, LOL. Uh, need tips, tips on how to dress. Yeah, there you go. Uh, <laughs> yeah, well, tune into her channel and she'll, she'll, um, she'll answer your questions and give you some tips, right? You'll help them out, won't you? Sure. Definitely. That's right. If you if you want to find out how to attract a, a beautiful young lady, get tips from a beautiful young lady. That's what I say. It's like, you know what Dave Ramsey says? He says, if you want tips on finance, don't ask your broke brother-in-law. He, no. he says, ask somebody who's successful in finance, right? So you, you want to ask somebody who's, who's successful. So, sure. yeah, that's what you want to do. Um, let's see. Uh, Bree, do tell, is there, uh, Bree, do tell, is there a special lady out there for you? Well, I don't know that you, do you, do you like ladies? Do you, do you go both ways? 
no, no, <laughs> no, 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 she doesn't go both ways. So there you go. I mean, special person in my life. That's a woman. It's my mom. There you go. But definitely no, no. not, not as a mate. <laughs> yeah. 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 So, okay. There, we got that straightened out. Um, Brie, would a fedora be classy? A fedora is the hat, like, like that hat you have, that sets Stetson. The Stetson hat. Oh. So if the guy was wearing a fedora, if he was well dressed and he was wearing a fedora, what would you think about that? If you were, if I was wearing it. The, uh, the I guess if the man was wearing it. Oh, that would be nice. Okay, so she's got no problem with a fedora. What about beards? A beard. Um, I don't know about it because I I feel like if you're gonna hug the person, um, I'm gonna feel that or something. It could and be it could be itchy. It could be it could yeah yeah. And there so. might even be some food trapped in it, right? <laughs> <laughs> would that be kind of a turn off? <laughs> would be. Yeah, that, that would not be. <laughs> Um, Patreon, yes, she has a Patreon account. Somebody asked about that. Yes, there's a link on briefitdance.com, and there's a I have a link to briefitdance.com in the description of this video. So Thank yes, you. she has a Patreon. Um, okay. Let's see. And Lance says, Bree, do you think that men look better in bow ties or neckties? I think neckties. Neckties. But if they were dressed nicely and were wearing a bow tie, you that'd probably be okay, right? Yeah. If it was just, classy. Like right, if they were wearing a tux, classy, you're fine. If they're wearing a tux, you know, they've got to be wearing a bow tie. So, yeah. It's true. It's true. Um, let's see. Trashy Larry says, how old is your mom? I don't think you're supposed to ask the age of women. But I will say she's beautiful and she looks much younger than her actual age so yeah, but I does. don't yeah I don't think it's appropriate to ask a trashy Larry the age of a woman under any circumstances by the way the other tip when you meet a woman at a party or something like this and my dad made this mistake once you never you never assume that they're pregnant he, he went up to a woman and he said oh I, I see you have one on the way right she wasn't she was just big right Oh my god. So so that that is a total fail, right? <laughs> you can't assume just cuz they look like they might be pregnant. You can't assume that they're pregnant. Right, you just you just think about it. Let them that. say it. Let them say it and then congratulate them, right? Yeah. Yeah. So that's that you never and you never comment on a woman's weight, right? These are just things you don't do. Um That's the truth. Yeah. So just we're giving these guys some tips right or so, or age yeah like don't comment on those things yeah um brie what do you think of the bad boy look what is a bad boy the bad boy look maybe like a biker look maybe like a bunch of tattoos and and you know kind of maybe greasy a little bit greasy oh um, no just kind of like ragged you know kind of rough like like a almost like a professional killer. No, no. Not that type of thing. Mm. No. But but maybe maybe it's like a little distraction sometime, right? Maybe, but I don't. <laughs> I don't know Doesn't sound like she goes for the bad boy look. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, Paul says, "I don't have nice clothes. I can write you lyrics." as great as the best I can kiss and by romantic like you've never experienced Paul whoa there Paul's sweet talking you there Bree uh oh I think Bree's, <laughs> Bree's, Bree's blushing a little bit there okay uh, Trashy Larry says I'm 43 let's get an over under on the mom at least <laughs> oh no she's married Trashy Larry she's happily yeah. married Carlos is laughing out loud. Kevin says, um, have we come up with a watch for Bree? She can't go on with a naked wrist. We're going to we're going to figure out a nice watch for the lovely Brianna. Absolutely. We're going to figure that out. Yeah, definitely. Uh, but um, good things come to those who wait and are patient. She'll she'll be 
she'll she'll have a nice watch sooner rather than later i think um let's see blue says sorry for starting this topic brie lol just patreon brie folks yeah sign up as a patreon i mean yep. leather i mean leather jacket jeans chuck a boots stubble searching for music for your next <laughs> Um, yeah, I think she'll pass on the the stubble because she it it'll it's it'll scratch her, right? If they have stubble, like a couple days old beard. Uh, let's see. Bree Blue says Bree likes bikers and bad boys. LOL. Well, I, I, yeah, I think she said the opposite, but that's okay. Trashy Larry. Okay. All right. Here we go. All right. What are we gonna do? You got something for us? Did you find some music? I think I did find some music. I like that. Yeah, that works. You hear it? Yeah. Okay. All right, here we go. The lovely Brie. Oh, it's not playing now. It stopped. Okay, there it goes. The way. Yes, yes. Well done, Bree. Wow, you're getting better. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, let us know in the chat what you think about that. Bree's getting the moves. Oh, mm -hmm. oh, now, cool. that is, um, that's good exercise too, right? The hooping? It is. It, like, burns calories and it's fun. So. Does it, 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 is it kind of, the more you do it, do you feel like you're getting more and more into it? Yeah. Yeah, it comes like more natural to me because before it's like not as natural and now it's just like dancing, but now with the hoop I can like, you know, do more moves. So. Good. Well, I like it. I think you're doing good. Derek's in the house. Uh, let's see. Lady Bree, can we get footage of the Rolex trip with Craig? Well, yeah, if they'll let us, if they'll let us, we will do that. If wherever we go, if we can shoot footage, we absolutely will. That is what we'll do. Always an opportunity to create content, right, Bree? Yes, yes, always. Oh, by the way, you should watch that video I sent you of that interview with that guy. Okay. Uh, it's very interesting because that guy has a uh, YouTube channel that in a year he got to like I don't know if he's at a hundred thousand subscribers yet but like in one year and and he, this guy interviews him about how he did it and he gives a lot of tips and it's 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 very interesting interview so definitely check that out I saw the beginning of it and it said that you should start a channel with something you're passionate about that's right Absolutely, yeah. But but then he gives a lot of uh, tips, and he and he and he talks about you know how he almost quit, and you know, but then he, you know, all of a sudden he started getting some sponsors, and you know, it, it, it's just an interesting story. The whole the whole story is interesting. Right. So it's very motivating. Yeah, I think it'd be interesting if you check it out. Um, let's see. Uh, <clears throat> 
Tim says, isn't Biden too old to have a driver's license? <laughs> I think I think most states you can still have a driver's license at his age. But if he wins the presidency, he won't have to drive. He'll have people driving him. Oh yeah. Limos. So, yeah, he'll be he'll be getting it. They call it the beast. The beast that that Cadillac. It's not really a Cadillac. It's basically the whole thing is custom made. Tim's in the house. Uh, the last time I tried hooping, moving my hips, it just fell to the ground. <laughs> there you go. And James Scott, uh, Craig, can you talk about your business there in Maryland? Yeah, we can talk about that. Absolutely, we can talk about that. So, yeah, I had an inquiry <clears throat> about... Um, Let's see. Do you think this could be duplicated in other areas? Okay, yes. Um, here's the issue. I think to have a successful community website, you need to have a very good domain name for the website. Like for Frederick County, I have frederick.com. And, of course, I got that many years ago. The problem with trying to do this now if you don't already have a very strong domain name for the community in question I think it's going to be very hard to do. I also have the handles for Facebook and Twitter, like I have at Frederick County on Twitter. I have at City of Frederick on Twitter. I have Facebook.com slash Frederick County. So I have all those things locked down, and it would be difficult to try to do all of that now because, generally speaking, all those kinds of names are taken by somebody, and so you'd have to acquire those from whoever has them, and that might be problematic. So I think it's kind of a difficult thing to duplicate somewhere if you can't somehow get a hold of some powerful domain names uh, and or usernames on the social media to go with it. Uh, y you need that sort of thing to have it to have it be relevant, right? Anybody can create a community guide website, right? It just with any old name, just pick up some name and just, you know, I call those no-name websites, right? Just, I mean, and there's a bunch of them for Frederick that have come and failed. That They've tried to do it, but they failed because they couldn't get the right domain name or whatever. And so you have to have something really compelling for a business to want to join you and be part of it, right? There has to be something really special about it, in my opinion, because they're, they're, they're approached every day by many, many experts trying to sell them search engine optimization and, and website services and all kinds of things, right? They're, they're barraged by people selling them things like that. Unless your, your offering is really special and unique, it's going to be very difficult to uh, stand out and to get their money and to, to, to get them as clients. So I hate to throw water on somebody's fire, but y you know, if you're going to do it, you better plan properly and, and come up with something that is really compelling and unique so that when you go and you approach them, uh, they're, they're going to sign up. And you also want it to be a long-term relationship. Like me, they pay every year. They pay a sponsorship fee. And you want a, a powerful relationship so that they keep paying that over and over again. And, and you build up that residual income. So that's the business model that I use. So, uh, and it's not easy to get people also to help, uh, to help do it. Uh, so I do most of the work. And it's, it's hard. Uh, I think Brianna wants to learn about the business some and, and might get involved in it uh, but it's 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 hard uh, yeah. so so yeah okay so let's get back to a couple more questions here and then we will let you go um, I'm passionate about pop off flasks uh, good channel idea Craig okay <laughs> maybe uh, trashy Larry uh, Paul says Amy uh, bad Wi-Fi connection is the best way to get to know know you something about me something about you doing something today or I'm not, not sure what all that is um, Lance says when did you start doing hooping um, at the beginning of this year yeah and, but really intensely more recently right you've really increased the amount of time you're practicing 
Right. Yeah. But more. So you're starting to get more serious about it now. Right. Um, let's see. Uh, just a couple of side conversations here. I'm just... Um, okay. Uh, thank you, Craig, for addressing that. Um, cheap labor, trashy. Okay, sorry. sorry. Okay. All right. I think we are caught up on the uh, comments. What? Anything else you'd like to share before we we let you go? Uh, well, just to check out my website and all my social media links. And, I do and hey, folks, things. send her send her a PayPal friends and family, or and maybe sign up as a Patreon. She'll make sure. she'll put she'll put it to good use. Oh yes. She'll put it to good use. All right. Well, th thank you for calling in. I'll show your website also. All right. Thank you. Everybody, that's Brianna, BreFitDance.com, BreFitDance.com. Be sure to follow her on all social media. Thanks. Thanks, young lady. All right. Let me, uh, as promised, show her website, BreFitDance.com, BreFitDance.com. Health, fitness, beauty, hoop dance. Bitcoin fan. She's got a strong hand, she says. She's not going to sell her Bitcoin. Bitcoin's down a little bit today. Some of the weak hands are selling. <clears throat> I think some big money folks are doing some manipulation. They're doing some manipulation. Uh, there, were, there were a bunch of shorts on the CME futures. A bunch of shorts a uh, bunch of whales shorting and then what they do is they're smart puppies right they're not they're not dummies <clears throat> they do it they take a short position and then they go into a couple of the exchanges and they dump a big blocks of a bitcoin to try to create the to to force it to go down right and so then they make money on their, their 10x shorts, right? And then once the crash happens, once it goes down, then they go ahead and uh, buy it back cheap <laughs> from the weak hands that are selling. So, so these whales, they know what they're doing. They're manipulating and trying to take the money away from people with weak hands. Those of us with strong hands, we just hold and then we just wait for it to go back up. That's what we do. <clears throat> Let's see. Uh, and sometimes we buy the dip as well. And uh, let's see. Bitcoin is appreciated too. Absolutely. I'll have to send Bree some Bitcoin this week. One whole Bitcoin to Bree. Come on, folks. <laughs> um, let's see. Trash Larry, ask your dad for me, will you? Uh, I'll wax the hell out of his Jaguar. Um uh <laughs> blue says give trashy a chance <laughs> oh boy oh boy <clears throat> briefitdance.com briefitdance.com short sell in spot position on s yeah these guys know how to manipulate they know how to manipulate the market that's what they do and see they can do that because it's still a relatively small market cap, and so, you know, they can manipulate it. But as time marches forward, it'll get harder and harder for them to manipulate it. So it'll become more and more stable, but that'll, that will take some time for the market cap to increase and for it to get, get more stable. Let's see what it's doing now. Let me see if I can see where we're at. Okay, so it says we're at 11.319, 11.319. I will say that in its entire history, its 10-year history, Bitcoin has not spent that much time over 10,000. It's been a relatively small amount of time that it's spent over 10,000. When we had that big run-up in 2017, the end of 2017, it only stayed above 10,000 for a short period of time. It was a big spike up, 
right? And then it went back down. So it, it wasn't above 10,000 for that long. And then it went sideways, and then it went up again, you know, and then it went up to like 14,000. It was only up again for a relatively short period of time, over 10,000, and it went back down below 10,000. So the fact that we're at 11,300 is still a high number, folks. It's still a high number. So we could have, we could pull back. There's a CME futures gap at around 9,600. I mean, we could pull back and fill that gap uh, and still be okay and still, you know, get back up over 10,000 and, and go sideways for a while until we finally have the big, the big pump. So that's what I think we're looking at here. Um, Craig, you are well-spoken. However, you end sentences with the word right as if it's punctuation. Are you aware of this? I probably should stop doing that. Probably should stop doing that. Absolutely. Do point things like that out so I can try to remedy it. Kyle's in the house. Craig, are you getting the watch in question to complement the 002? No, I don't think so. No. The only I think the only reason to get uh to get that watch well, I'm not gonna show it again, but well yeah, I think I can show it again. I think it's still up here. Yeah. I think the only reason to get that watch would be if you weren't going to get the O two. I think that uh if you're gonna go O O two territory, I think that just go that way, right? I think this is for someone who doesn't want to spend 002 money and or somebody who prefers steel for God knows what reason, but they prefer steel, then this would be the way to go. It, it's, a, it's a neat little watch. I think it's an, it's an elegant piece. I think it could serve somebody well if that's their criteria. Uh, and maybe even if, it's, if they want a one and done watch. Obviously that you know, being on a bracelet makes a lot of sense if it's a single watch rotation. Uh, let's see, Lance says he's not interested in Trashy Larry's offer. Uh, let's see here. Craig, is the gold market manipulation I, well I think it's harder to manipulate the gold market but people have said that it has been done but I'm sure it can't be manipulated to the extent that Bitcoin can because it's got a much higher market cap I think its market cap is like what 7 trillion or something you know versus a couple hundred billion for Bitcoin so obviously Bitcoin is much younger and much more volatile because of the, uh, the size of the market cap uh, that SBGX 333 is overpriced for what it is. Stainless steel quartz watch with no date. I paid less for my OP36. Yeah, it is It is pricey. It is pricey. Absolutely. It's a limited edition. Ah, and obviously it hasn't sold, right? It's still here. It's still for sale. So, But it's a limited edition. And it is very elegant. I think you can make the legit argument that this is much more elegant than an Oyster Perpetual. Okay, so if you wanted something that was dressier, let's say you're an accountant, you know, you dress nice all the time in a suit or whatever. Uh, this would be a very elegant piece. I think. I think it's an elegant piece. <clears throat> so food for thought. Let's see here. Uh, and some people would prefer the 9F. And I, of course, pr prefer no date. I don't like the date if I can avoid it. I'm over the whole date thing. All right. I think we're going to wrap this up. I think we're coming up on the, the termination. By the way, I did order the uh, Blackmagic ATEM Mini Pro, the switcher that has the streaming capabilities built into it, the one that Steve got. I did finally get the notification from B&H that it was in stock and I ordered that. It's supposed to be here on Thursday. So if it comes on Thursday I may do a show uh, with the new equipment on Thursday. We'll see. <clears throat> we'll see what happens with all that. Uh, 
Craig, are you a fan of the goods from Toomey produced in the 80s and 90s pre-acquisition? They had some decent stuff back in the day. Again, any of those kinds of things, you really have to look over each each item and be careful. But I think they had some some decent pieces back in the day. Kyle's in the house. The spring drive version of the 002 would be cool on that bracelet. I think it's the 003, right? Yes, yes. Oh, by the way, speaking of spring drive, the um, the Grand Seiko Elegance Collection. Let me pull this up. And I did um, I did put this link, the direct link, in the description. <clears throat> But the Elegance Collection has um, <clears throat> has really expanded quite a bit. They've got uh, a number of models. And you can see here, they've got a new limited edition watch with the green dial there. That's rose gold. Now that is a manual movement. That is a mechanical movement. That is not a spring drive. That's why it's 24,000 instead of 25,000, right? But you can see here they've got a number of models in the Elegance collection. And they've got, here's one with a bracelet, right? And so obviously Steve could probably get that bracelet separate, right? To put it on one of the others. Because this set looks like it has the same case as the 002. So that bracelet could probably be gotten, I would guess. And let's see here. Here you can see <clears throat> they have the limited edition unit that's 76,000. I think Steve sold one of those. And here's the Steel 003 for 7,600. Now that's a limited edition. These both are limited edition, right? But of course, notice the 002 is not. It's a normal production item, which I like. I like actually a watch that they keep making. And then uh, you can see down here, they've got this model here that's 57,000, and that is not a limited edition. So they've got quite a bit, quite a number of watches here in their, in their Elegance collection, right? A lot of different options here that are elegant, elegant. So pretty interesting. Um, <clears throat> oh, 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 003, very hard to get. Yeah, you don't see them that often. You don't see them that often up for sale. You do see them occasionally, but not that often. Uh, let's see. If it was auto SD and came on the bracelet, I'd buy that watch. So close to perfect, the oh, oh, 003, that is. <clears throat> well, if you got... Kyle, if you got an 003, you could get that bracelet separate, right? I'm sure that bracelet right there would fit. Steve could probably get it, this this bracelet here. Uh, so I would, um, I'd ask Steve about that, what the bracelet, because I don't think the bracelets are that expensive. He's given me prices on bracelets before, and they they weren't really that expensive. They weren't anywhere near Rolex prices. Uh, let's see. Kyle says, I don't think the dial is as nice as the 002, though. It reminds me too much of cocktail time. Sake. Yeah, I think you're right. I think that the... Um, <clears throat> I think that the 003... Let me pull it up here. Yeah, it's nice... But I, I prefer the snowflake. But some people really like that, that pattern on the on the 003. And from what I understand, in person, it looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. I mean, I don't think it would be as popular as it is if it didn't look pretty daggone good. But you know, it's hard to top the 002. Uh, opinions on the of the Seiko cocktail dial. I'm not sure exactly what you're talking about there. Sorry, I'm at the plead ignorance on that one. Craig, check email. Okay, we will check email, and then I'm gonna I have to eat. I'm getting hungry. 
I'm getting hungry. I can tell this is going to be a good one. This is going to be a good one. I can tell that. <clears throat> GMT, five-digit unit. And at this price, it better be pretty great condition. Looks like it's got a fair amount of stretch. See the bracelet on the left there? Looks like it might have a fair amount of stretch. And I swear those holes in the case look oversized to me. They look reamed out, especially the one on the right. See how the one on the right looks bigger than the one on the left? This watch looks like it's been around, around the barn a few times. It is a hidden class bracelet. That's kind of interesting. I think this one this one might be might have a little bit of wear and tear on it though. That's the way I look at that. So that might be a, a caution one. Caution light. Caution light on that one. <clears throat> Let's see. I uh, Yes, I could, but then I'd have to wind my watch, which I can't do. I don't want to submit to that. Yeah, it's one thing to wind a dress watch. It's another thing to wind a daily wear all the time watch. I agree. I agree with that. Although I don't mind wind, I wind this one every day. And I, I've gotten used to it. And I can feel by feel I can feel how when it's getting close to being fully wound and I stop before it's like I don't wind it all the way up to the stop I don't know that that harms it to to wind it all the way up onto the stop or not but I can feel when it's getting ready to get there right and so I just stop a little bit short of being fully wound and I just wind it every day although I don't have to it's a three-day power reserve I just do just to keep it keep it topped off the 002 Stunner. Let's get it down below the be the bone here so we can get this puppy fully. See, so get the light, get the light playing off of that. Pretty, pretty freaking amazing, if you ask me. Ah, uh, I've made a list of my needs. I don't blame you. Yeah. I will run a screw down crown and auto spring drive. Yeah, I, I don't I would wait until the puppies make exactly what you want. I agree. I'm ready for our show on the perfect watch. Yeah, we're gonna have to do that. Once I get the new equipment. And Kyle, you're gonna have to Skype in and we'll 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 get a discussion going on that. I think we'll absolutely do that. Uh and hopefully get it over to Grand Seiko so that they can they can implement whatever we come up with, right? How's that? Let's have them implement what we come up with. Kyle, do you like the Datejust 36? I think he does. Who doesn't? Lance is in the house. Craig, if they made that 9F in solid gold with a gold bracelet, would you sell the O2 and buy that? I love the spring drive on this. I, I love just looking at that second hand doing its thing. So, no, I would probably keep this. And to tell you the truth, I really like this strap with the deployant buckle. I, I've i gotten so I'm really enamored with it. I really like it. I think for a dress watch, this is a little more elegant than it being on a bracelet, to tell you the truth. I think it's pretty cool. So, yeah, I think I'll stick with this for now. Uh, Perfect Watch will be a great show. All right, yeah, we'll do it. We'll do that soon. All right, folks. Let me sh let me show Bree's uh, website one more time. There you go. The lovely Bree, BreeFitDance.com. I love Brett's date just thirty six. Well, yeah, who doesn't? <laughs> that is a stunner. All right, folks. Make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you click the bell. That's always a good thing. <clears throat> 